Sulam Tao only involves hand movements and you should remain in the goat stance throughout. Your shoulders should remain still and the centre line must be given full attention. When first practising this form, the movements should be slow and relaxed and you should concentrate on technique and positioning rather than power and speed. As with most things, a good foundation is essential in order for the goal to be successful. The more time and effort you put into Sil Lam Tao, the more effective and capable your Wing Chun will be. After watching the form through, we will break it down into four sections and then we will look at the applications of each movement. With your left hand open and your right hand in a fist, bring them together at chest height, roughly a hand's width from the body. Next, pull your elbows back along the sides of your torso, making a fist with your left hand. End with your hands in line with your body at chest height. Keep your elbows tucked back. Open both hands, keeping your fingers straightened together with your thumb tucked in. With both arms, jab down aiming at an imaginary opponent's groin. At the same time, slightly bend your knees. From this position, rotate both arms inwards, ending with back fists. Draw your hands back to your side, with your elbows tucked in, and open your goat stance as described earlier. From here, with open hands, move your arms into a cross, forming in front of your navel, with your left arm over your right. Now lift and rotate both arms to form a cross in front of your solar plexus with your right arm in front of your left. Pull your elbows back until your fists are back in their side position. Still in the goat stance, perform a straight punch with your left hand, form a tanzao, then rotate your hand back into a fist before returning it to your side. Repeat this with your right hand now deliver five straight rolling punches, starting and ending with your left. On the fifth punch, return your right hand to your side. Form a tanzao with your left, then rotate back to a fist and return it to your side as before. This section is sometimes referred to as three prayers to Buddha. From the goat stance, open your left hand and slowly move into tanzao. Rotate your hand a full circle clockwise, ending in an extended Wu Sao. Next, slowly draw your hand towards your chest, stopping a hand's width from your body. Form a hook with your hand and forearm, pointing your fingers back towards yourself. Your fingertips should be together in a point. This is called Fuk Sao. Drop your Fuk Sao to the same level as your navel, then slowly straighten your arm. Just before your arm becomes fully extended, reform a Tan Zao. Repeat this process from the rotation back to the Tan Zao. Rotate your hand into an extended Wu Sao for a third time and again slowly pull it back to your chest, only this time instead of forming a Fuk Sao, Push your palm right across your body and stop your hand in line with your right shoulder. This is known as Pak Sao. Return to Wu Sao, then push your palm forward, fully extending your arm. 
Your palm should be on your center line rather than in line with your shoulder. Form a tanzao. Rotate your hand back to a fist and return it to your side. Repeat this whole process with your right hand. With your left hand, push your palm down, keeping your fingers pointing forward. Your arm should be fully extended and your hand slightly away from your hip. Leaving your left hand in this position, mirror these movements with your right. Forming a hook with both hands, simultaneously lift them to waist height with your fingers pointing at the ground. Push both hands down and behind your body with open palms. Your hands should only be an inch apart. Return your hands to the hook position by your hips and then push both palms down and in front of your body. Keeping your hands open, lift your forearms to a parallel position, left over right, in front of your chest at shoulder height. Keeping your arms bent at 90 degrees, pull your elbows back in line with your shoulders and then straighten your arms. Reverse this process back to the parallel position, only this time with your right forearm over your left. With both hands still open, simultaneously chop down at neck height. Without pulling your arms back, open your palms away from each other and extend your arms forward and up. Now with your fingers pointing forward and your palms facing down, pull your hands back to your chest and then extend your arms to perform a double finger jab at eye level. Lower both arms down, keeping your palms at the same angle to the ground and stop in front of your hips. Now bend your arms at the elbow while forming hooks with your hands. Once your hands are level with your chest, thrust both hands forward, still in the hook position, by straightening your arms. This should be aimed at an imaginary opponent's head. To close this section, simultaneously form a tanzao with both hands, rotate to fists and withdraw them to your sides, keeping your elbows tucked in. Jump to your toes, bringing your feet together. Slowly lower your hands to your sides with your palms down and your fingers forward while sinking onto the flats of your feet. This is the end of the first part of Sil Lim Tao.